all right all right guys what is up it's your boy will back with another video today i'll be talking about tesla okay ticker symbol t-s-l-y like i said i'll update you guys on this tesla about every two days or so now as you can already tell you see the buying level you see the exit level hit perfect okay hit perfect i'll be giving you guys all new buying levels and resistance levels i'll be looking for for tomorrow and then we'll also go over to the five day, five minute chart. So you can see the closer price action and this beautiful price action. And then we'll come back out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart to put all new levels on here. So make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. I'm trying to get over 50,000 subscribers this year. And make sure you go to Will Knowledge, Will Knowledge Crypto because that's my crypto channel. I posted uh, videos over there on Cardano, Solana, and more videos to come. So make sure you go over there, subscribe, watch those Will Knowledge Crypto. Okay. Now with Tesla. Let's go ahead and go to the five day, five minute chart because these are levels I gave you guys. I think I made a video on it Friday. Yeah, I made a video on Friday or Saturday. I can't really remember uh, what day I made that video on Tesla. Uh, let me check real quick on my phone. So I made it on the 8th. What was the 8th? Okay, so I made it on Saturday. Okay, so Saturday I made a Tesla video. I gave you guys this buying level at $1,000 and I gave you guys a resistance level at 1060. This was the range of the play. What happened? It actually gave you two entries, okay? All full disclosure, I did not enter. I had appointments this morning. I was moving around too much today. So I was barely in the markets today, okay? But tomorrow I plan on scalping Tesla and getting options either long puts or long calls, depending on what it does, but I will be scalping Tesla on the upside, okay? tomorrow to so just make sure you're in the vip room and the regular discord room because that's why i'll be presenting the scalps uh link below in the description put in the comments know what i'm buying and selling okay so buying level at a thousand what happened this is your first buying pressure okay this is your first buying pressure pull back your entry okay remember your exit is up here it went to there perfect okay your first entry was right here oh what happened getting too excited your first entry was right here and your second entry was right here also. Okay, so it really gave you two entries to enter. This is clear buying pressure, clear buying pressure off that level. Like I tell you guys, buying pressure can go below the level and buying pressure actually came right at that level and went up and then your secondary entry to go higher. Okay, so it gave you two entries. Now, with these levels, okay, these levels that I give you guys are really, really key. Okay, I'm literally giving you guys plays. Okay, now, and not financial advice. All I want from you guys is to smash the like button on this video. I want this video to get over 200 likes, okay? That is all I ask. 200 likes over this video to show your appreciation and I'll be happy, okay? Just go down there, click that like button for me, please. 200 likes, okay? And subscribe if you're new. So buying level hit, resistance level hit. Let's take those levels off, okay? Uh, Can we clear the chart? Yeah, we clear the chart. We'll put all new levels on here. So let's go out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. Okay. What are we going to do now? So resistance. Okay. This is also an exit. I'm looking for resistance about 1140. Okay. This is also my exit target for tomorrow uh, for the scalps that I'm going to do. Okay. For the Pacific option, make sure you guys go in the VIP room because that's where I'll be sending it. So 1140 is the exit. Also resistance level. So when price comes up here, I am expecting some resistance. Now, before I give you guys a buying level, depending on what type of resistance we get here, if it blows through that resistance, that'll be very bullish. And I'm loading up on long calls. I'm going heavy calls all the way, okay, to at least 1500, okay. If it does not show resistance here, like say it just blows through it like that, doesn't show any resistance, right? Then it has a little pullback. Oh, we're golden. I'm buying heavy hundreds of thousands i'm going heavy taking off heavy okay you guys know a normal position for me is around 10 grand okay i'll probably times 10 that if i see that okay because that'll be a very big signature but now let's go ahead and go over to the scalp okay i'm getting a little too excited so 1140 is resistance okay that's one level buying level is like 11 i would probably say about 1060 okay 1060 is the buying level so kind of where price is now so i'm gonna be watching this one closely within the first 30 minutes or so 30 minutes to an hour i should be in the play okay 
unless something happens, you guys know the Fed and all this stuff. Anything can happen any day. But that's why I always say make sure we get that buying pressure confirmation first. Okay, we always need that buying pressure confirmation to enter. We don't just enter because the level is hit. Okay, that's very, very key. So looking for that buying pressure confirmation at 1060. Okay, so we're looking, it seems like it's going to open up right around like 1071 or so. So depending on pre-market where it opens, we want some pullback back down to around 1060. If it does not pull back all day and it kind of just goes up like this, like it did today, kind of, right? It didn't really like pull back deep. It kind of just kept going up. I'll still enter off that. Okay. I'll still scalp it. So no problem there. So, uh, but this is just, if we do get that pullback, then I'll do that. But if we, if it doesn't pull back and it goes higher, then I'll do an intraday play and I'll scalp in there. Okay. But these are the main two levels that I'm looking at. Okay, main two levels I'm looking to buy and to exit. And like I say on the bigger play, if that resistance doesn't show any selling pressure, I'm going all in. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this update. Very clear levels to watch for. Okay, the, the chart isn't fluttered. You don't see a lot of technicals on here or nothing. Okay, two main levels I'm looking at. It'll help you trade. Knowing where to enter, knowing where to exit is the most important things you need in your trading career. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to get the video over 200 likes. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and always remember no recommendation of ours. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.